going to visit Fiskars village, a small town with about 600 people living in it all year round. I took the embankment bicycle route to get there, so I could enjoy the scenery along the way. In here, I will meet up with the married couple Patrick Duffy and Kia Neesman. Pat is a pro skateboarder and Kia is a food entrepreneur here in Fiskas. We will talk about why they have moved to Rastibori and about the local skateboarding scene and the food culture. Okay, I have just arrived to the skate park and I will get them uh, in front of the camera and we'll have a chat. Hello, I'm Patrick Duffy. Hi, Taki and Esman. We're here in the skate park to show that every town needs a skate park. <laughs> well, this is basically his second hall and our son's second. Too. And that's a pro skater or has been for all, all his life. And then there's a huge uh, skateboarding scene in this class amongst the young people now, the very small children too. Very, very good growing skateboard scene here in Ross Boy. I think it's I think it's been growing the skate park scene has been growing so much because um the popularity of skateboarding is sort of skyrocketing it's, you know when you're not in the cities you've got to have something to do to stay out of trouble yeah i guess it's like what else would a young person do in like a that's fun and cool that's not staring at the screen so i think that attracts and also there was a couple of skateboarders when he moved here so i think it's probably inspiring to see like hey that looks fun and then try and then you know, anyway. It's very true. And the scene has grown the last couple of years just since we've been here. Yeah. Like crazy. Like, so many more kids are skateboarding around here now. Just in the last couple of years, so it's really exciting to see. Yeah. It's yeah, definitely, it, definitely communal. People come from the village next, from Karyalohia and skate here, and uh, even from, yeah, from Pohia and from. And people come from Helsinki even because it's a nice atmosphere here. Well, it just started to look like all the roads were leading from California to Finland. And I didn't want to live in the city. And Pat, because of skateboarding, can't live too far from concrete. So this, I need uh, it. <laughs> so this is kind of like nicely in the... Bermuda Triangle of uh, Helsinki, Turku, and Tampere. And uh, the nature is beautiful, and uh, specifically, Fiskars has a really nice uh, community of uh, eccentric people from, of all sorts that live in like this uh, weird harmony with each other. So, yeah, and, and the Waldorf schools are here too. Yeah, I ferment vegetables. So I, I started doing that in California when we lived there, maybe like almost 10 years ago. And then uh, when we moved here, uh, I saw that there's like this huge uh, artisan food culture in Rasabore. And there was this course for like learning all the tricks of like the business stuff. And it really like resonated with me. And then two years ago, I started my own company, Rasabore's Fermenteri. And it's actually right there. I can see the building. So it's convenient and it's really inspiring and fun. Yeah, there's a lot of small producers, like even 
like vegetable farmers and meat producers, and then there's also um, lots of food artisans, you know, that that further develop the, the ingredients. Holy cow! It's scorching hot here at the skate park. We're gonna now go and visit Kia's fermentary facilities that lie only a few hundred meters away. About skateboarding. Yeah, we did. Yeah. 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 And uh, very interesting to hear about the skateboard scene here in Brasebori mm -hmm. that it exists and it's big and alive it's here. and growing. Come, yeah. come enjoy the park. <laughs> Keep a lookout for the new flavors and products. Bye from Fiskars. Bye. And uh, see you in next village. Kitos for coming. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Sweet.